Hello, it's Father Samuel with a word of hope for Tuesday of the 13th week in Ordinary Time. Well, for those of you from the United States, happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day to you. In a very special way, we pray for our nation on this day as we celebrate our independence. On the Gospel today, we have the story of Jesus on the boat with the disciples crossing the sea. He's tired, it's been a long couple days, I'm sure, of preaching and healing and teaching. And he's asleep on the boat while a huge storm kicks up. So huge, in fact, that we hear that the disciples fear for their life. <laughs> they wake Jesus up and say, save us, we're perishing. And he rebukes them for their faith, or their lack of faith, rather. He rebukes the wind and the sea as well, and everything calms down. And they continue, shocked, surprised, asking, Who is this that even the wind and the sea obeys? Now, in our own lives, not many of us are probably going to find ourselves on open water in the midst of a storm, afraid that we're not going to make it across. But how often in the metaphorical storms of our life does Jesus seem to be asleep? somewhat silent in the distant background, while we feel like we're left to face the waves alone. But how important is it in those times to run to Christ, to find him in silence, in that sort of spiritual sleep? One of the great blessings of our faith is that we have Christ with us, physically present, in every single one of our churches and chapels. Anywhere there is a tabernacle, anywhere there is the Eucharist, well, there is Christ. How easy it is to forget this fact when faced with the stresses and difficulties of the day, and how beautiful it can be to go and visit Christ in the midst of those difficulties. To stop by a chapel for 5, 10, 20, 30 minutes and spend some time with him, Cry out to him, just as the disciples do. Lord, I feel like I'm perishing. Save me. And then sit with him in those moments of peace. Allow him to speak to your heart so that you can move forward in confidence. The storms might not disappear. You'll come to realize that Jesus is indeed with you. So in those moments of terror or difficulty, run to him. Spend time with him, and let his peace, which surpasses human understanding, take root in your heart and in your soul. Happy Fourth of July, and God bless you.